So first of all, let's give it up for Mo and Chuck. Huh? Thanks to all the friends, family that have, we've been blessed with to have here. It's an honor to have you here to celebrate in this beautiful day. So what do we all love about Morgan? She's smart, she's witty, she is very caring. Ask any of her friends up here. If they need somebody, she'll be there for you. She's a great daughter, sister, friend. And by the way, she can bake pretty good. Get on her good list and she'll make you something. So it's an interesting and beautiful thing to think about for a wedding, that because of your yes, this group will never be gathered together in the same way, that just by the very gifts of your lives and your yes to each other, I can just look around. Uh, it's a packed church. During the summer of 14, I really remember Chuck talking about this girl he's been on a few dates with and being really excited because they both shared many commonalities. As things progressed between the two, I received the invite to be the third wheel and meet Morgan one night. How it took six years from then to put a ring on your fingers beyond me, Morgan, because it was pretty clear to me that Charlie and you were a great match that night and that Chuck had outdone himself. Charlie's like a brother to me, though. He has a huge heart and a sense of adventure, and it's been awesome to see that reciprocated by you, Morgan. You two are always on the move, and it's been a pleasure to see your relationship develop over the past several years. I'm glad and honored to be a small part of it, and can't wait to see what's in store for you both in the future. I love you both, to Chuck and Morgan. Cheers. Maria and I talked at length on what we really want for you both today is for your love to be the least it will be today in your marriage. And that you become stronger together as you move forward in your life together. And this time is my great joy to present to you the newly married couple, Charlie and Morgan, and you may kiss the bride. As our big sister, Morgan has always looked out for us. And now we want to give Charlie some advice to make sure that he looks out for her. Number one, 
Don't forget to restock the emergency chocolate. This will satisfy Morgan's sweet tooth when she doesn't have a fresh baked goodie around or one of their famous Scortino walks. For those of you who don't know, much like me, Morgan despises doing the dishes. So in order to fulfill the happy life, happy life philosophy, Charlie, make sure you get those dishes done. <laughs> Next, many of you know Morgan can be very particular. So, when you're re-watching that reality TV, or for Charlie, some sporting events, make sure the volume of the TV always stays at an even number. And lastly, remember that Morgan is not as tough as she seems. She's a sensitive, kind, and generous person. So always remember to tell her how much you love her and appreciate her for who she is. What's not to love about Sean? He's a happy guy, is he not? So he loves sports, he loves food, he loves life. But most importantly, he loves me. Charlie, we are so happy to have you join into our family. Charlie is loud and funny and always prepared with a good meme to share. Make sure you ask my grandma about the one that he shared with her. <laughs> I just wanted to take a minute thank everybody for coming tonight. We really appreciate it. Uh, we couldn't have done this with all, without all of you. Uh, it's great. Special shout out to our parents. All the love and support throughout the years has made this happen. Grant, Maria, John, Deb, like you guys have done such a great job. Helped us with this and we really appreciate you guys. We love this city, we love all of you. Let's have a great night, and thank you so much. We love you all. We did not know Morgan was dating Charlie until we ran into Emily at Summerfest. And let's just say Emily was feeling pretty good. And she goes, Mr. and Mrs. J, have you, what do you think of Morgan's new boyfriend? And Maria goes, what? <laughs> oh yeah, they were over at your house last week when you were in Florida. <laughs> so Emily spilled the beans. I don't think we would have met Chuck up until this point if it wasn't for Emily, so thank you. I do want to quote a song that I want Morgan and Charlie to remember from this day forward. And I don't know how I survived these days before I held your hand. Well, I never thought that I would be the one to admit that the moon and sun shine so much brighter when seen through two pairs of eyes than through just one. So, with that wish, many, many blessings. Thank God 
for all he has done for our family and for you, and let's party. <laughs>